What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So, today we're going to do a stash update. Uh, just to kind of end the year. And, uh, yeah, let's just show you what we got. So, not too many kits to, uh, in this video or for the stash of ads. Um, just kind of end the year and we'll start fresh next year and all that fun stuff. And this is probably my last video of me talking to you guys like this. Uh, tomorrow I have a how-to video coming out, and then Saturday, or Sunday, my bad. Sunday, um, we're gonna, I have a video of my 2023 builds. So, that'd be pretty cool. But, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you my stash ads and show you what we got recently. So, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the NASCAR. Uh, I got this one at Mike's Decals, because Mike's Decals had a sale. It was a Black Friday sale when I got this. The number 28 car, very cool kit. Um, this is a you know older monogram kit. Uh, obviously the decals are probably not the best, but I did get some aftermarket decals. It is a still a 28 car, the same year, but I it's a different uh, type of livery, uh, which is pretty cool. So can't wait to do this, and maybe we'll do this for the, the NASCAR group build next year, but we'll see. So that's the first NASCAR. The second NASCAR, I had to get this one because this is probably one of my par my, one of my favorite paint schemes of this um, this particular car driver is the Martin Truex. His uh, Bass this Bass Pro Shop NASCAR, this this livery on this livery on this car is amazing. It's gonna be challenging because I know this kit it's it's basically a full wrap because it's like a you know like a camouflage. You have the red, so uh, basically you just paint this car black, and the rest is all decals. So <laughs> it's gonna be cool, be a process, but um, I think it might be worth it. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty cool. So Toyota Camry, very cool. Martin Truex, he's one of my favorite drivers, so pretty neat. Uh, let's go ahead and do oh, swap meet. I went to a swap meet. Was in November? Yeah, November, Novemberish. I got three kits. The first kit I wanted it was, or picked up, it was the 1950 Ford F100 pickup, or F1 pickup. Yeah, I think it's F100 pickup. Very cool kit. I've been wanting this for a while. Uh, but Val stopped making this one, so hopefully they'll re re issue it to one of these years. But it's very neat. Uh, there's tons of ways you can do this. You can do it as like a work truck. You know, you get custom work truck, and you get a bunch of stuff in here. So very cool. And you get a three carb. V8 engine there. This is pretty cool. So very neat. Everything is there. Every time you go to a spot meet, I'm gonna tell you, just check everything. Make sure everything is, is there, especially when the kit's open. Obviously, just open it. Make sure it's all there because sometimes <laughs> some parts might be missing, and you're thinking you're getting, you're getting the whole kit, but you're not. And yeah, you just have to off. But I got that kit for only 12 bucks, I think. So that's not bad. The second kit I got was. The AMT 49 Mercury sedan. Um, the reason, one of the reasons why I, I wanted to get this because this is actually one of the themes for uh, 2024 next year uh, for NL East. Uh, it's a, it's Rosin Customs and 75th anniversary of the 49 Mercury. So I might do this one up. I do have the Ravel one, but since the Ravel one's kind of hard to find, I kind of want to save that one. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do the Ravel, Ravel, the Ravel version. But I did pick this one up and. It's a different, it's like a two in one, so you can get different grills, um, but very cool. Engine, you get like a two carb engine type deal going on there, or your stock, you know, flat V8. So, very cool. But yeah, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get a Jimmy Flintstone body for this. We'll see, but very cool. So, that's one of the themes for NL East 2024. So, uh, that's why I got that kit. And this one kind of drew my attention. This is before I even built that 32 Ford uh, I just finished but I picked up the 31 Ford Model A sedan um, you know this is not the chopped version this is the full you know sedan version but you know turn into a hot rod so uh, very cool so <laughs> that's kind of kind of cool I picked this one up and maybe we'll do this one as this one who knows um, because you know pretty cool I have the chopped version and the non chopped Ravel, this is basically, if you do want to do the ch chopped version of the hot rod that I just built, um, if you saw that video or saw that build, uh, basically you would probably use this kit as a donor uh, because it's a sedan. You would use the, you know, the interior bucket for this one, maybe the chassis, the engine probably, you can easily use the grill, 
and a few other parts. So, very cool. So, yeah, I got this one. I just figured why not. Five bucks, I got this one. It was open, but again, everything is there because, you know, check. <laughs> uh, I showed this one of my previous videos, to, you know, the um, Fulton Show. I only got one kit, which is the 48 Ford Custom Coupe. A uh, very cool kit. I thought something making this one, but I figured for 25 bucks. I can't complain. I can't go wrong with this one. It's such a cool kit. It says 3-in-1, but it's kind of like a 4-in-1 because you have four different grills. I believe you have like three different style bumpers. That you, I'm not sure you have more than one engine, but um, just this, this kit is beautiful. It's a beautiful Ford, and the body style is amazing. You, do, you can do like a like a skirt option. This is like an add-on skirt, or you can just do it without the skirt. So it's like that, or you can just, you know, it's amazing. So there's so many ways to do this kit. So I want to pick this one up because I, I bought this one a while ago, but it didn't turn out too good because I was still kind of a beginner. <laughs> um, let's do all these. I got one kit at all these because I was there picking up some stuff and I saw the model section. Uh, they had this, the big rig semi chiller. It's kind of like a work, I'm not sure what they put on this. It's kind of pipe car parts or I don't know, something tough because it's all steel chiller. This kit's heavy. It's a heavy kit. I mean, it's obviously packed to the ground and up. I think, you know, it was, what was it, 12 bucks? I think it's like a little off. Yeah, 12 bucks, like 13 bucks. This is bigger, like a 40 dollar kit, I believe. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I can't complain because I got tons of big wigs and I figured, yeah, let's get this kit. 12 bucks, you really can't complain because that kit's pretty expensive. So, yeah, figured get that one. And then went to my local hobby shop, Small Addictions. Uh, I got this one at their Black Friday sale. Um, we got the um, Hornet, 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 how do you pronounce it? Very cool, I love this Hornet uh, ver version, the 54. Uh, this is such a beautiful body style. I mean, it's, the, look at the engine. This is such a unique engine. It is a flat six, yeah, six cylinder, a straight six cylinder. But you guys got those crazy intakes on there. This is such a, such a crazy looking engine, but look at the car, look at the black. <laughs> I might have to do it black. It just looks so good and I don't know. Mobius makes it really good kits and uh, this kit was just just took my eye. It was 32, but I think it was 45% off or 50% off, I can't remember. But it brought down to like a little over 20 bucks. So yeah, I can't complain. Uh, these next three kits, which is the last three, is from Mega Hobby. Again, Black Friday sale. Uh, so I can't really complain. I figured, you know, might as well jump on to some stuff. So the first one I got, this is actually on sale before. This was on their clearance sale. So it was already, it was like 60% off. This kit is a $100 kit, and I got it for 40 some bucks. So 60% 60, 60 off, which is, what brand is this? Is this the brand? I can't remember. Yeah, I think that's the brand. And it's the BMW Z4 M. 40i. Um, this kit is expensive. I'm not gonna lie, this kit is over a $100 kit. I'm not really sure why. Uh, because it's, it's, it is a curbside. Obviously, it has no engine. But, I mean, I don't really know what is so special about it. Because I was not gonna pay 100 bucks for it. But since Mega Hobby had a clearance sale on it for 40%, or, I'm sorry, 60% off, I got it for 40 bucks. I mean, I will I will buy it for 40 bucks, but I definitely would not buy it for 100 bucks. So, um, yeah, but picked it up because, you know, it was on sale. Why not go jump onto it? But uh, this car, it's it's different. It's unique looking. We'll probably, probably get a nice paint job on it. But, yeah, I figured I picked that one up because it was on sale, massive sale, because I was not going to pay the normal price for it. I think that's kind of crazy. Um, the Iwashima kits. We got the... Fair Lady Z, this particular one is a 1975. This is such a cool version. It's like a wide body type, type deal. Um, yeah, very neat. I believe Tamaya has a similar version, but it is not the wide body. It's just like a stock version, which I don't really care for that one. I actually kind of prefer the wide body type look to it. 
it says it down here. It shows, you know, tells you, uh, right now, I think it shows more in the instructions. It tells you about the car. But there is the English version. Uh, yep. So, very neat. And it's, a, it's such a cool looking car. So, I figured, you know what? I love these Faraday Z's. And this is obviously not in the U.S. I believe, I'm not sure when Faraday Z made it to the U.S. I believe it was in early 2000s when they... You know, make start making them and you know, produ you know, producing them and selling them in the U.S. But very cool. And the last one, I, I, I don't ask me why I won this. I kept, I kind of won it for a while, and I figured, you know, let's jump onto it. It's the, uh, <laughs> it's the uh, uh, Nissan. It, it is, it is a Nissan. You got the Datsun 22OC Diesel, a 1979 Hong Kong taxi. Such a cool freaking car. Diesel. Very cool. I never knew Datsun made diesel cars, but you know, you never know. Back in 1979, 1980s, uh, diesel, you know, Nissan, which is Datsun. You know, it's not, you know Datsun's not a thing anymore, uh, but it's, it's still Nissan. But very cool. Hong Kong taxi. Just such a cool car. I believe they're still using these these days because Hong Kong is not like a really rich, like you know, city. It's more like a poor country, poor country you want to call it. So they're using these. I believe they're still using these taxis, these older style taxis. And you know, there's not one of it. I mean, if they're still running, shoot, you might as well just keep running until they freaking rust and die out, you know. But very cool. I looked at this one. This one has some photo edge. I, the taxi logo is photo edge, and this guy right here, the number five, that's photo edge. So the Hiroshima, um, their kits, they're if you haven't seen the Hiroshima kit, they are packed. They are fully packed to the top of the box. Yes, most of them are curbside, but who cares about curbside? You know, I believe this engine is probably not not too fancy. It's probably like a straight six diesel. Uh, so, you know, probably nothing too crazy, but I don't really care about curbside. Mostly for me, the models are on the outside. That's what I really look for in the interior. Engine is good. If you have the engine, obviously display the engine, but mostly for me, the exterior is really what matters. So, but very cool. I, I don't know why I wanted a Hong Kong taxi, but I think this is such a unique vehicle. And um, I don't know. I might do like some kind of like faded paint job on it because I'm sure most of these these days they're still running these the paint job is faded you know like the sun I, i'm not sure it's it cold in hong kong it might get cold there but i know the sun pipe beats on it fading the paint job curb coat peeling they probably have some dents and deans on the bumpers and stuff but i don't know i think it's pretty cool very cool history and you know i figured why not get it but that's it guys that's it for this video i want to wish you all a happy new year this might be my last, you know, major video like this talking to you all. My next video, like I said, is going to be a how-to video, uh, which I'm sure, hope, hopefully, most of you will find that useful. The next, the next how-to video, and then the last video on New Year's Eve, I'll be posting a slideshow video of my 2023 builds. But other than that, guys, that's it for this how this video. Hope, hope to see you guys in 2024, and we'll start my next build on Monday. So, and there might be an unboxing video on that. So my first video for the New Year's will be an unboxing video. So, I kind of ironic on that. But, not too big a deal. But until next video, guys, I'll catch you all next time. Take it easy and Happy New Year. And I'll catch you all next year.